It's day three and I'm back with the trend report and I'm going to start off with Aparna and Norden Wangli's collection. I loved it. They're showing after two years. They have two gorgeous babies and in between all this, one is 10 months old, they've managed to have this great collection together. So the collection is floaty, free-spirited, it's layered in sheets with motifs of Japanese and Tibetan iconography. I'm not too sure but we'll find out when we interview them. Um, there, is, there was an amount of transparency, uh, you know, they worked with fabric so beautifully so you could see a burgundy underneath and a sheet of just knife pleats I think on top and these dresses really had a wonderful spiritual connotation and I know why this comes about because Norden is from Sikkim as I am. We are mountain goats and we have a great spiritual structure within us. Pretty Shraddha and uh, basically what I'm going to do right now is show a person who just walks in just like that how to get the perfect summery happy dewy look on her cheeks because most people kind of either give it a complete miss or they probably misplace the product. But I'm going to share a few tips from the fantasy collection and, from, and on, on how to wear a cheek makeup and basically make your cheeks look most complimentary to your makeup. So here we have Shraddha who is of a lighter complexion than most of us. But the thing is this collection that we've launched uh, along with Gauri and Nainika which is called Fantasy 2011 Spring Summer for Lakme, um, we've launched a whole burst of pinks, a whole like a strawberry and cherry and various shades of pink, flesh tones and deeper tones, sorbet. So uh, what I'm going to do on her is use, use a paler colour but I'll show you how to layer it to create a nice dewy, beautiful, fresh look which you can carry day to night. Switching to the collection, what we have this season is these beautiful, easy to use cheek artists. They are sticks basically, cream sticks and uh, you can use them with a brush if you feel confident that you won't leave strokes behind. I prefer using it with my hand. Now the great thing about this product is it looks like you've pinched your cheeks so you've just come back from a nice jog. You know that's the kind of finish that you get from this very dewy, very natural and it does not appear like a product on your cheeks. So I'm just taking a little small pop of pink and I'm just going to put it right on the apple of her cheek. Take enough so you can blend in and the beautiful thing about this is texture it's really creamy but it also sets to a slightly powder finish so you know that it's going to stay there for some time it's not going to you know move every time your hair falls on your face or you just use your hands on your skin now to finish this off what I'm going to do is we have this gorgeous gorgeous body gloss it's an all-over shimmer which is in a cream form and it's quite viscous and thick so the thing is it's not going to drip so you can use it on your lips, maybe just a dab of it on the center of your eyes when you know you want that slightly creamy, glossy look. You know, and, and also, what you can do is just put a little bit on your collarbones, or you can just put it on your cheekbones, like that. Again, I prefer using my fingers. Make sure you don't overdo it. So it's just there with the, with the you know light naturally hits the skin. It shouldn't go all over the face because it might make you look greasy. That's the kind of finish you get, kind of wet, dewy, like moisture filled. It's a great look for summer, super for the day and it looks fantastic in artificial light so evening would be great too. There, this, there she is, just come back from a jog. She's sweating lightly but looking nice and healthy. So I guess that would be it. That's, that's what a lot of people want right now from celebrities to housewives to college going kids. Everybody wants to look fresh and dewy and younger and I think this is the season and this is the collection to really go for. It's, it's got everything it's tailor made to look springy and summery and fresh. That's, yeah. What I find fascinating and delightfully fascinating is that Babita has gone from being a different kind of designer, blingy to you know Bollywood-esque and then she comes up with this biggest surprise which is I think a very sophisticated um, collection that had spirituality, beautiful drapes, beautiful fabrics, amazing prints, um, you know, something where I was, I tweeted and said, I've created a new term for you, Babita, take a bow, it's called monastic chic. <laughs> Long day, I'm sure if you haven't seen the mascara drip down my eyes, you have no idea. I've worked like a dog, my producers are slave drivers. Nonetheless, I watched a great show with Nikhil and Chantanu and they had very sexy girls up front. So sexy that I was frightened. <laughs> and Sorry. we are going to be interviewing them in a while, but my overall take was 
Hmm. Who are they looking at? It's a men perspective of women, which is fantastic. Um, I need to be bloody fit to wear those clothes. They had great colors. I love the degradé that they used in a variety of ways. Um, they used leather, which was part of their surface embellishment. I think all these things came together and all it said was, sexy girls are back, sexy girls are back.